square root of a given number using prime factorization method. So actually this is a we need to find out square root only for perfect square number. So previously you have seen what is a perfect square. So any perfect square number is given we can find out the square root for that. First we need to resolve the given number into prime factors. Okay, For example find the square root of find the square root of 1764 1764 I am taking we need to find out the square root for this so this 1764 is a perfect square only so for that perfect square numbers only we use the prime factorization method to find out the square square root so we have need to follow the steps first step is resolve the given number into prime factors First, we have to make it as the division, uh, resolve this the number into prime factors, then make the pairs of similar factors. Next, we have to make it into similar factors. So, 2, 2 we should take, then we should need to multiply the that 1, 1 number. That is, we should do product. So, let me explain with an example, it is clear for you. So, 1764, this is a number, this is a perfect square number. First, you need to write prime factors, product of prime factors. So, that is a 2 is the first prime number. If you will do division, 2 table, 2, 8 is a 16, 1 carry, 1, 6, again 8, 2 is a. That means 2, 8, 82 is a 17, 64. Again, 2 table, 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 1 is a 2. Right? Next, you can take 3 table because it is divisible by 3. So, and 3 is the next prime number that is 147 3 table 49 so again 7 7 is a 49 7 1 is a 7 so first we should resolve this number into prime factors fine so we need to write first so 17 64 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 Next is similar factors. Make the pairs of similar factors. So yeah, we made it. 3, 3, uh, 2, 2 we should take. That is, this is 2, 3, 2 times, 7, 2 times. Then final step is product. That means the product of prime factors, chosen one out of every pair. One out of every pair you have to choose. So generally you can write 2 square into, this is 3 square into 7 square. So, 2 out of pair, 2 on a uh, number I am taking. Next to 3 into 3, 1 number. 7 into 7, 1 7. So, overall square, single square you can write. Let us give the square root of the given number. If you multiply, 2 3 is a 6. At the same time, 6 7 is a 42. So, 42 whole square. Therefore, square root of 1764 this is a square root symbol is equals to 42 so third step is the product of prime factors chosen one out of every pair to give the square root of the given number right let us uh, check with one more example okay whenever they will give the perfect square number only we need to use this prime factorization method See one question. Find the smallest number by which 720 should be multiplied. So 720 is a number. 720 is not perfect square. But question is, what is the smallest number by which 720 should be multiplied to get the perfect square? So what should multiply? What should multiply to 720? to get a perfect square and what is the perfect square number then find the square root also we will find out what is the smallest number should be multiplied to 720 now 720 start with prime factorization process first 
two table two three sixty zero two one eighty and two nineties same two table forty five again three three is possible means you can take three three or uh, fifteen is a forty five again three table three five is a fifteen five one is a five so finally seven twenty I can write as two into two all numbers into two into two two four times again into three into three into five fine so here if you t see the pair one one number two times 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 3 into 3. So, one extra 5 is there. That means, one more 5 if I multiply, then this becomes perfect square. So, what is the smallest number should be multiplied. So, 5 is the smallest number we need to multiply. Then this, So, we should multiply the given number by 5 to get the perfect square. That is 720 into 5. If you multiply with 5, this becomes perfect square. That is 3000 600 <coughs> so 3600 is the perfect square therefore square root of 3600 is equals to so because of this two twos one two i can take and one more two another three only five extra one five is multiplied so another five because according to the third property the uh, third rule we should take one out of every pair fine here out of two one two is taken and out of 2, 1, out of 3, one number is multiplied. So, 3600 is then it is a 4, 4, 3 is a 12, 12, 5 is 60. So, 60 is the uh, square root of 3600. So, let me explain uh, one more question similar using the prime factorization method only. Find the smallest number. Find the smallest number by which six thousand should be divided. So previous problem is a uh, what should multiply. Now this is divided to get a perfect square and we will find out what is the perfect square number so obtain and find the square root of that number also okay. let us see the square root of that number also again so as per question 6000 is a given number so this is not perfect square no but what we need to divide with this 6000 what is the smallest number we should divide to make it perfect square so same rule will apply take 6000 to first of all prime factorization 2 table 2 3000 2 1500 again 2 table 750 2 table 375 so now it's not divisible by 2 next 3 3 1 is a 3, 3 2 is a 6, and 15 is 3 5 is a 5. Now again, 5 table. 5 2 is a 10, 25. 5 5 is a 25, 5 1 is a 5. So finally, the given number is 6000. Just write as product. That is 2 into 2. Into 2 into 2. Again, 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. So clearly in the product of prime factors there are 3 pairs of equal. Right. So just you see the 3 pairs of equal. This is one pair and this is one pair and this is also one pair. Next to remaining is 3 and 5. So this 3 and 5 we need to remove. That means we can write 3 into 5 together is 15. So 2 into 2, this is one set. And 2 into 2 is one set. And one more is 5 into 5. 
into these three phi's are and 15. So if you this 15 should be removed, that means 15 is actually multiplied. So if you divide this 15, 6000 if you divide by 15, then this will can cancel. So we must divide the given number by 3 into 5, that is 15. So let us check now 6000 divided by 15. So if you do 6000 divided by 15, you will get uh, 400. So 400 is the perfect square. So then 400 is equals to the remaining part is 2 into 2 into 5. Square root of 400 is. So that is 20. Because each pair, the remaining is instead of this 2, 1, 2. Instead of this 2, 1, 2. Instead of these 2, 5s, 1, 5. So this is the smallest number you should divide. Means 15 you should divide to get the perfect square number. So this is the way we can solve. At the same time, yeah, whatever you should multiply or divide. Multiply means that extra we need to multiply, which is required. Division also that which is extra, but that same number only you have to divide. Apart from the pair of equal pair, uh, factors. One more question I'll write here. It's a little different. That is find the least square number find the least least square number divisible by each one of 12 comma 15 and 20. This is the question. Find the least square number divisible by each one of the 12, 15 and 20. So least number divisible by each one of 12, 15, 20 is nothing but LCM. Right? First we need to find out LCM of this. LCM of 12 comma 15 comma 20. So least square number should divisible by each one of them. So let us fi first find out the LCM. Now 12 15 20. LCM is 2 table 6 15 and 10. 3 15 yeah, 5 it is. 3 table, 3 ones are, 3 fives are. So in 5 table. So finally, the LCM is 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12, 12 5 is 16. So 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. That is 60 is the LCM. By prime factorization, 60 will get least square number they are asking. So again you have to do the prime factorization for 60 now. Two into thirty two into fifteen three five is a fifteen. Five ones. So finally sixty I can write two into two into three into five. So to make it perfect square, it must be multiplied by 3 into 5. So 3 into 5 is 15. So extra 15 you need to multiply for this. Hence required number. So required number is equals to 60 into 15. That is 900. So that means it says the 900 is the least square number that is divisible by each one 12, 15, 20. That means 900 we can divide by 12, 900 we can divide by 15, same 900 we can divide by 20 also. Least square number they asked. So perfect square is this. 60 is any number but square number is 900. 
Okay, in the same question, least only number. If they ask only least number instead of square word, 60. So least square also means 900. So this is the way we can find out the numbers, which is multiplied by some number or which is divisible by some number to get the perfect square. This is the procedure we can follow. So next we will see some properties of the square number.